Hi everyone, today we're going to tell you how we can add a custom font to our Shopify website. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our content. The code we will use in this video is as you can see on the screen. I am adding this code in the description section of this video. You can copy and paste. We logged into our Shopify panel. I will add the font named Bebus which is not available in Shopify. Here's how to find out if a font is on Shopify. Sign into the Shopify panel. Then enter the theme by clicking Customize. Click on Theme Settings on the left. Then click Typography. Press Change. Then search by typing the name of the font you want. Thus, you can see if the font you are looking for is already available in Shopify. Let's go back to the Shopify panel. Now I will Google and download the font I want. I can download my Bebus font from fonts.google. I click download. I open the font file. As you can see the extension of my font file is .ttf. The extension I need is WAF2. So I need to convert this file to WAF2 format. For this, I write Cloud Convert to Google. I go to the Cloud Convert website. Then I hit the Select File button. After selecting my font file, I click Open. I choose the file type to translate. WAF2. Then I click on Convert. After the process is finished, I click Download. Our file has been downloaded. Now I'm back to the Shopify panel. I click on the three dots next to my theme. Then I click on Edit Code. I'm typing Base in the search section above. I click on the base.css file. I need to get to the bottom of the file. I'm pasting the code in the description of the video at the bottom. I press save. Then I click on add new asset from the last side. I click on add file and add my WAF extension font file. Then I close the search section and go down to the Assets folder. Here you can see the font file we uploaded. I click the pencil button next to it. Then I copy the file name. I enter my base.css file again. Here I am pasting the font name I copied to the places where name of font is written. Make sure you paste it in the right place. Then, in this section, I write the places where I want to use the font in my theme. You can write like this too. Then I hit save. As you can see our font has been successfully added and is working. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in our other videos.